Hello everybody and I would like to greet you once again in video today. In this video we will be learning a new topic today that is descriptive paragraph. So first define the term what is descriptive paragraph. Paragraph you might be knowing. Paragraph means an amount of text okay in bulk. So descriptive has been actually coined off from a word description or describe. So describe means prescribe. Tell something in detail about something or somebody as well. Okay. So description means description means anecdote. Description means episode. Description means what? Analysis or synthesis about something. So this descriptive paragraph is really speaking describing or synthesizing about something in nature. Okay. Really speaking, this descriptive paragraph can be used to describe a person, place, thing, or even event as well. So this description can be a spoken or written account, account means an episode here, okay, episode for a detailed narration about a person, object, event or a thing, okay. But unfortunately, this year CBC has deleted some of the topics uh, which were in description um, writing. So we'll be only de um, describing persons only descriptive paragraph in this video. So before getting started, let's know what are the points to remember while mentioning or while trying to frame or write some descriptive paragraph the very first point is start your paragraph with a general topic related sentence that introduces the person which is the first sentence should be clear precise and focusing on one aspect of their appearance so the very first thing that you should and must always be keeping in your mind is that your first sentence of the paragraph which will be describing uh, the person because we are just describing about the descriptive writing related to person only so the first sentence of your descriptive paragraph related to a person should only and only be what topic related so it certain must be addressing to that very person about whom we are just going to write about okay and it should also introduce the person it should also tell some introductory part it should also what mm. As we just introduce a paragraph, isn't it? We just uh, play some part as if some preface is written. So we have to just provide some good amount of preface first for that person. Okay. And the first sentence should be clear, precise, focusing on um, one aspect of their appearance. Okay. Now, the next part is focus on the most striking part of appearance first and then the other physical details that hint at person's personality. So first of all, we have to just write about the the most striking part of his or her appearance so suppose we are just describing our one of friends or anybody then first of all we need to write about the most striking most emphasizing or most what bold part of his or her appearance and then the other uh, physical details such as these these and these okay the next thing is you should touch on the key aspects of their body and clothing as well as their face as well since these are the parts of the person that the reader will be most interested in so having completed these two things you should be focusing on the details of his or her bodily appearances like uh, which clothes are being worn by him uh, how's their face appearance okay so these sort of things should be uh, contained in your in your descriptive writing about a person okay next the most important part use figurative language figurative language is what figures of speech which are used uh, for making our poems or even prose as well more emphatic you might have read poems and you might have seen the uses of figures of speeches like simile metaphor onomatopoeia so these kind of figurative languages should be used by you in your what this descriptive paragraphs okay and you should also be using wise and strong adjectives throughout your paragraph strong adjectives means the adjectives which should be what wisely defining the terms there okay and at last you should be what mentioning about the conclusion the last part okay in it you should be try to make your sentence uh, what most interesting so that it should be because this last sentences do have a tendency to make the last impression on readers mind and you might be knowing that the first and last impressions are only the impressions that are what kept for a long time so the first impression and the last impression both of them 
are very much mandatory so this is what we have got and um, that should be kept in your mind now this descriptive paragraph is just like a simple paragraph okay so there is no much glitch about what should be the uh, accurate format of a descriptive paragraph because it's just like a paragraph how do you write a paragraph we just put a title and then we start writing about the paragraph or about the topic isn't it so there is not much left about uh, what is the right format to write a per descriptive paragraph okay it just resembles the paragraph so that is why we'll be putting a topic and we'll be writing about that top that very topic okay so actually speaking i have just put here an example which was actually framed by me for class 8 okay a couple of months earlier so the same example has been put by me right here and uh, the same example has been solved by me as well okay imagine your friend has come to your birthday party we would like to know about his or her public appearance write about the physical appearance and personality of your friend in about 100 to 150 words okay so how this whole paragraph has been written by me you should be paying attention to that okay how the whole what mm, descriptive paragraph for a person because here friend friend is a person isn't it so how I have just coined this whole paragraph you should be paying attention okay so as you can just see here just I have put a topic here okay a neat looking a clean looking topic the eye-catching personality because mm, my friend was there at some party isn't it so just I have put some topic the eye-catching personality but remember the rules are same each and every first letter of each and every words in title 7 must be always what there should be capital okay as you can notice here t e c p all are capital here okay now just a simple paragraph so just i have started now first of all i have just built some preface some uh, what bottom line it was my 17th birthday the house was decorated with streamers and balloons a special birthday cake was ordered which was actually a chocolate cake with juicy cherries on the top my parents gifted me a macbook and i was feeling just immensely enthusiastic a feeling that could not be expressed in words all of my friends were invited and i was very happy to see them but i was still waiting for my best friend deepak slash deepika now this whole shot of things are just preface these all things are introductory in nature they are just introducing what happened okay finally we saw him coming as he or she entered into the party everyone looked stunned by his or her persona and appearance now persona and appearance both of the words meanings are same but they are putting some more extra emphasis we do use these kind of words isn't it for wordplay in english you might have heard vital and important both of the meanings are same but even then the both of the words are put together to add more emphasis so like this you have to use words okay wisely and emphatically okay he or she a bit tall and has an athletic build as okay so this is all we have got just i have just put it here okay so you can read it out and you can just try to figure it out how the things have been put by me okay and you should be paying much attention to how just i have been uh, what describing or how just i have described my friend okay uh, his face his looks okay so these all sort of things should be kept in your mind while framing or just writing some what precise or concise writing about your friend or some person a specific descriptive writing okay so actually speaking there is nothing much serious or there is nothing much what so weird about descriptive writing it is just a paragraph which is more or less a specific about some person okay so that's all we have got in this video see you in next video till then take a very good care of yourself and thank you very much for joining me thank you